Hello, my name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today we're gonna demonstrate on how to install the Linux app on your Mac OS. So let's begin with our Linux app called the Audacity. Let's open our internet, which is our Firefox for this matter. So let's open the Audacity team.org. So we are now in the world's most popular audio editing and recording application which is available for all of our platform so we have for the downloads for the windows mac linux and of course in other platforms so what is audacity audacity is a world famous popular free and open source recording and editing for audio so if you have some producing a music podcast and playing music with audio audacity is for you this is absolutely for free and it is remain as free as in open source it is proud to be one of the open source this means this source code remains open to everyone to view or modify and of course it is dedicated to the world community of passion of audio lovers have collaborated to make the audacity application well loved software as of today many third party plugins has also been developed for the audacity thank you for the open source nature the audacity has been free and open source ever since and of course as you can see we have the downloads right here so let's go to the download page let's click on this one so as you can see for Windows we have this button for Mac we have this binary and for the Linux the image app and you can also download it at the official software store of the Linux community in each distro or distribution reminder that the audacity team that org is the official download site of this application and please don't go to any website go to the official website which is audacityteam.org so let's go to the mac because i'm using the mac os right now so let's click this one so you have the two versions we have the universal installer we have the 8664 Intel processors and we have the ARM processors by Apple Silicon. And of course, additional plugins and resources right here in the bottom. So the system requirements of the Audacity is Mac 12 and 13 or above the OS X version release after the OS X 10.9 Maverick and both Intel and Silicon which is the x64 and x86 architectural and ARM 64 version are available as well as universal binaries and of course no specified CPU or GPU are required on this one so if you have some older Mac you can also visit the link here which is the older version of the Audacity on the FOST hub or the free open source software so let's go to our download right here so we will use the universal DMG so just click on this one and wait until the download is completed so let's minimize this one as you can see I have my download right here and I have a bunch of software already downloaded right here we have the audacity right here the universal so just double click that one and you have the audacity right here so you have to drag this icon towards the application because this is a download file so let's click that one and then move to this application and release it 
after you done it we have this information right here let's move this one and minimize this one or close this one so I have already audacity on my application so let's just uh, replace it just click replace or just install it it's either way so as you can see it is downloading and copying the application into the application folder right now we have to un mount this one or eject it right here because we already install it on the application and then after that you have to go to the other page which is this one so you have the icon and then just click and then you have to wait until it's verified the audacity application to be safe and successfully installed the architectural version of this uh, design of this Mac is a little bit like the same with the Linux because it is running in Unix. Mac OS is running in Unix, which is the cousin of Linux. So if you're saying that you don't know how to use Linux, well, you're just saying that you don't know how to use Mac OS or any Android because Android is also Linux and the iPad is also well Unix so after you have this information it will pop up download application from the internet are you sure to open this one and you just open it click open so we are now with our new audacity 3.4.2 version so the beat the measurement and the time stretch are already debug and of course uh, you can always turn this off if you start it up so let's just click don't show and click OK so as you can see we have this application right now so it's a little bit like the same with the Linux Unix right here on Mac OS and at the same time the same with our Windows so as you can see we have the play button right here the pause stop forward skip and record loop and all those tools that we need zoom in zoom out and including the audio setup so we have the host right here the core we also have the playback which is the speakers we have the recording I prefer the USB so let's click that USB thing and the recording channel which is our mono right now and scan device if you wanted to and the audio system so the audio system settings it is a information just like what you just click right here so that's why I click the USB instead of the microphone built in so it is stereo no not it is in mono so let's just click OK because I'm using this as a screen recorder so I could not record anything yet <laughs> but let me see if we could like check the audio system let's double click that one and then this one let's click that one let's just try to record if we have some recording yes we have some recording so as you can see it is recording right now with our two uh, application cool let's stop this one so let's zoom out a little bit so let's listen So yes you heard it right so how 
to increase the volume so we need to double click that one so that it will highlight the whole application and go to the uh, tab right here we have the files category which is the same with our Windows Linux and Mac we also have the editing select view transport track generate effect analyze tools and help and windows so let's go to the effects and increase the volume amplify so it needs to have a 16 decibel or 16.438 decibels to correctly amplify it not over amplify so let's apply so as you can see it is now in the right range so if we play right here if we have some recording yes we have some recording so as you can see it is recording right now with our two uh, application cool let's stop this one so as you can see it is already high volume which is the normal volume so let's uh, introduce you to some of these effects right here so we have some pitch control right here we also have the equalizer the EQ the bass and the treble remove the background noise we have also the reverb and so on so it's up to you if you want to change it to be uh, more pleasant to the ears so it's up to you on your recording so how do you cut and move this track so for example I have this track I said uh, something like here uh, application so as you can see I said uh, application so I need to uh, click on this one right here inside and then we have to select the the edit so we need to splice the so we have to split either in command 1 or command I so we have already that one so we need to move like this remove the uh, thing and then so we have that already removed and then let's grab this one by pressing it down on the right mouse or on your touchpad just press it down so let's preview this one by dra by dragging the mouse over here at the top of the scale to application cool let's stop this one so as you can see we have already that one so how about let's uh, listen to this one if we have some recording yes we have some recording so as you can see it is recording right now with our two application cool let's stop this one so as you can see we still have some errors right here so let's just click this one inside and then go to the edit and then split it detach this one highlight and then delete it you can also click command K for delete and then we have this one let's move this one so make sure you have the right uh, settings right here that is not off so let's also click this one because I also need to remove that one so let's remove that one then drag okay let's drag this one back and then okay let's listen if we have some recording yes we have some recording so oh yeah so okay let's do if it again yes we have some recording so as you can see it is recording right now with our two application cool let's stop this one 
so it's uh, already perfect right so as you can see it is not yet uh, on the same track because we're still editing so we could like save it right here as project if you don't need to save the whole project and to redo it you can always just click into the to the export audio so let's click export audio you have to define if what kind of format do you want if it is mp3 wav or apple uh, file audio file so I just want to use the mp3 so let's click that one and then save it we have to type in the file name and then if you are good with the folder so it's okay check if you want to make it stereo or still mono it's up to you uh, the sample rate the preset right here and of course the quality if you wanted to more than like uh, extreme but as uh, standard this will be okay so let's click this one and it's already done so we could like minimize this one go to the folder let's go to finder so we have the audio right here so let's click this one minimize this folder so that we could like play it on the music application of Apple so let's listen if we have some recording yes we have some recording so as you can see it is recording right now with our two application cool let's stop this one so there you have it we already have our file so that is the application audacity so let's save that file if you want to save the file as a project you can save it by clicking of course save as so yes save as and then it will pop up the folder where we will save it so where it is on our document folder and the file name is AUP3 which is the AUP3 for stanza for the audacity project file and of course version 3 that is that is why AUP3 project file so this is just going to be a save us as a test and then save it so then you have to close it and if you want to revisit your application just click audacity again and look for the file which is right here and open recent or you have to click the open command o or you have to just click on the recent files so that's about it for our audacity how to install linux app on mac os catch another episode of linux app next time i'm blair your science teacher bye for now and see you in the next episode and remember that science means knowing that is why science is cool ciao